Leah. It's been a little while. Last night I got this wild hair and I decided to um, reorganize my hallway linen closet. I told you I was needing to do that and you will see how desperately I did need to. So much like expires and I really haven't even touched it since November and so much has happened since then. It really was a complete wreck. Like, um, and I'm trying to pare down. I just want to live minimal. I'm amping up and getting organized for a garage sale. And I was thinking, you know, like with sheets and with towels, I do the towels every day. And it's always like the same towels that we don't really use or that are old are always like on the bottom. And then I keep like having to stuff in the new ones that I wash every morning. And why? You know, get them out of here. Put them downstairs and use them as rags or something. Um, Just get them out of the main storage area. I need the space. I want the, the clarity. I want to clear, you know, open the door and it's just exactly what we need and what we're using. Uh, Same with bed sheets. Um, I basically want two sets per bed. A set because when I wash my sheets, I don't immediately put on the other set. I don't know. I know a lot of people do that put the sheets on right when they come out of the dryer because then they, you know, they smooth very easily. You don't get a wrinkle or you don't get a crease mark if you fold them. I mean, not that a crease mark would bother But me. I have the ones in the linen closet as a backup. So if, you know, something was spilled or you just need to change your sheets like in an immediate way, that's what I'm doing too. I'm just paring down and paring down. I'm going to show you the footage that I did last night um, and then I am going to then add in, come back to you and add in what it looks like today where it's a little bit more tweaked. And like I said, I still want to tweak it a little bit more. So here's last night. as it is. So, come on. Okay, the light in this hallway is dim. I mean, I have this. You know, hopefully you can see this enough. So, this is how I have it set up now. I mean, it's a lot more bright in person. I guess I could have brought a light out here, but, you know, whatever. So, the top portion, I don't know, maybe I should bring a light out here because that looks like super dark and it doesn't in person. Okay, hold on a second. Oh my gosh, this is hilarious. This just shows you. I'm low tech, baby. This is some real stuff. Okay, so here's the closet. Now, now it looks like, you know, you can see it. So here we go. This top, this is medications. Adult medications, that's what it is. It's up here because obviously we have a lot of little ones and anything that's super dangerous, I went up super high. So this right here, I use just old boxes, you know, of things that we had um, because why not? Um, this is just an old box and this is, look, I got that because I had to go to first aid I had to go to the first aid station when we were at Disney World last, last time at Hollywood Studios and I got a sticker. Anyway, so I saved it. But So I put it on the box that I'm using for um, the children's medication. So this is theirs. This is first aid. So it's just a little bag that I put together that can quickly be grabbed out. It has large band-aids. It has tape, gauze, um, you know, flashlights. Um, triple antibiotic, extra like fun band-aids, splints, um, those medical scissors, and stuff like that so that you can easily grab out. 
And then right here is going to be like backup triple antibiotics and such. And, um, okay, so in this one, you know, hydrogen peroxide, witch hazel, isopropyl alcohol. I have some skin, vitamin E skin oil and, um, you know, cortisone spray, stuff like that. I'm kind of glad that I decided to do this like at the spur of the moment at night because even though I was just going to spend very little and go to the dollar store and get some bins to use because like I just got the bug so late, I ended up using stuff that, you know, would have gone in recycling and they're perfect like strong, you know, boxes and they're perfect for the storage. So it's great. It was like totally free. Free is better. Penny saved is penny earned, true, because you can't get taxed on it again. You see here, I like to use these rotating things around the house in weird ways. Here's one way that I use them. Um, Epsom salts for bath. You know, we have our uh, sunscreen. These are scented body glitters that the girls use sometimes in the summer because it's fun. Why not? And I keep all of these, you know, those pocket backs the antibacterial stuff. We have, you know, different ones for the different seasons. And, you know, I, what do you, am I going to do with it? Like throw it away at the end of the season. So I just hold on to them here and use them when it's appropriate. And then this, I have to show you this because this is so fun. When I told you that my friend um, got back from Universal recently, well, she stayed at the Cabana Bay. Have you heard of the Cabana Bay? It's like their new like 60s um, resort that's at Universal. So this is the stuff that they have there. Like it's all throwback. The Zest bar, bath bars. She put this together for us. I just haven't opened it yet. It's so cute. And the VO5 shampoo and cream rinse. Like, uh, so I just had this in here still. And we'll eventually use it. It's just so cute. This I have, this is just extra nail stuff. Um, I usually uh, clean my ring when I uh, am doing my nails. So I just put my jewelry cleaner in with it. You know, nail polish remover, cuticle cream stuff. You know, all the extra stuff that you need. Um, this is for, like, on-the-go nail polish remover. Anyway, it's just a box that I can grab out because I don't want to keep this stuff with the nail uh, polish acrylic shelf thing I have in my daughter's uh, bathroom. Over here, I use another one of these. My husband has, like, a straight razor where he uses, like, these are all extra like razors to put in there so um you know of course that's up here and then these are my extras and that's actually his extra shave cream but I just threw it in here because there was some room and then an extra body wash you know just to have you know because they come in a two-pack I think I think that's why I have that there anyway um these are all it was kind of cool to clean this out, actually, because not only did I need to get rid of a lot of things that were, like, expired medication and things like that, and just stuff that I just knew we hadn't used in so long, and it's just like, get it out of here. Um, but I had no idea I had so many bath bombs. It was kind of like score, you know? So that is kind of fun. It's like the bonus. That was, like, my payoff of doing all this work. I mean, look at all these. So those um, cotton balls, you know, nail stuff's right here, cotton balls here, and we use it for other purposes, but mainly for the nail polish stuff. This is just backup. I have um, backup shampoo and a backup like hair oil here. And these, I don't really use these, but I don't know. I didn't know if I should part ways with it yet. So that's yeah to be determined. So most of my dental stuff, backup dental stuff, is in this box. Um, these are all like different seasons though, but I didn't want to just throw it away of sense of, well, this, this should come out. Let's see, this should come out now. Um, but like that's more fall and you know, backup lotions. I like to put this on at night, especially in the summer. I have a backup toothpaste that I, I get this type of toothpaste from the dentist because 
because that's a long story. Backup body spray type stuff. And then I have um, a bunch of floss. We get floss from the dentist, and so I'll just keep them there and we'll use them until we're out. We're down to one little, you know, toddler toothbrush. But we have, you know, backup toddler toothpaste, backup regular toothpaste. Um, we have, um, I always ha try to have a few, uh, not only backup toothbrushes for us, for, but just in case, like, if one of their friends comes over and spends the night, you know, sometimes they forget their toothbrush, so, um, you know, backups for that, and then back here, it's just really simple, I knew it was going to be behind here, so I didn't want it to be anything that was like, you know, you had to get to often, um, so it's really easy to just grab out the Q-tips, and there's only two things I have back here. Now this is Q-tips. What's below it? A backup Q-tip. Easy enough. And what's beyond that? Just to go Kleenex. So I know exactly what's there. It's very accessible because of what it is. And I know what the deal is. So that's top shelf medications, first aid, second shelf, you know, still things that I don't want the kids to like be able to get to. I'm going to put this in my bathroom. And um, third shelf, more like hygiene stuff, we'll call it that. Okay, so now this definitely has to be pared down. These are all pillowcases, though I don't want to part with all of them because one of the things, what is that? Oh, it's not, it's a, it's the piping. I thought it was a piece of lint. Um, I don't want to part with all of them. I want to go through them more thoroughly because one of the things that we like to do as a keepsake when we go to Disney World is we like to have the characters use fabric pens and sign the pillowcases. So, um, so I want to go through and see if there's any that would be good for that. So we will, to save time, instead of like waiting in line always to see the characters and then get their signatures, we will plan character. You see, you're getting a little Disney tip in on my, uh, like, linen closet redo. It always comes up, doesn't it? Doesn't Disney always come up with me? That's so funny. So we do the dinners, and we, we have them sign it all there, and then that's like our keepsake. It's really easy because they are pillowcases. They fold down really easily, and it's like just one, we're getting a meal. We're already sitting there. We don't wait in line. The kids, um, you know, are eating, and the characters come around, and we just have them sign that. So uh, that's worked well with us, and they are so cute. The kids use them all the time. I'm definitely going to be going through these. I mean, we do not need these many, especially this many, especially since, you know, I just want like one backup sheet set her bed. Now these are for the big girls. This is their backup sheet set. Um, the little ones actually have, they have two dressers in their room, so they actually have pretty ample storage. I'm reorganizing their drawers actually, um, like in the next couple days. And I, and I have their blankets in their rooms right now in their, um, sheet sets and such. So, I'm thinking that I'm going to use one of their drawers just for that to save room in here and because they have the space. So we'll see. I don't know. I, like I said, I need to go through their drawers. They're little. They're growing really fast. I have to go through their stuff and, you know, sift through it because of size, like add and subtract from their wardrobe constantly. With the big girls, I need to do that too, but not quite as often anymore now that they're, you know, getting a little bit older. But the little ones grow like, I mean, they need new shoes like every two months, it seems like. So anyway, this is my backup. I love the sheet set. You saw this. I got this at Costco. What, honey? You need what? What? What you need? Okay, hold on. She comes first. Okay, the sweetheart has been attended to. Time to move on. Um, where was I? Sheets, yes. I have our white sheet set um, on the bed right now. And then this is what I have as my backup, though I prefer these. So I might, I might switch those out. Uh, there was actually an incident where... I needed to change my sheets like in a pinch and that's why those are on there because my kid walked in with Cheeto hands and like rubbed them all over these. So I had to throw these in the wash, you know, spray and wash them and throw them in the wash right away and I put the white ones on. So I need to change that out because 
I like to put these on. I wash them and re-put them on the bed every Sunday. Uh, okay, I went over this. This is for the girls back up. Okay, now for our shower, really, since I do towels all the time it's like what's the point in having too many i already have two that's in our bathroom here's the two you know other ones um and then i have our hand towels which i have two in the bathroom and then i have two here i have one extra hand towel here because in the girls bathroom let me show you Okay, I have one down already today, but the girls only have four green towels. Now, I need to get backups that I will keep in the um, closet, but since I wash these every day, like, look, three of them I know still need to take a bath. So, by the end of the night, these will go in the washer, and then in the morning, I just hang them back on here so they never go in the closet, which means there will be, you know, four more of the green towels here uh washcloth but if you take like six out right away per day then you have just uh one two three four five is back okay and these are for me and my my daughters my older daughters these are those hair towels the turby twists do you know what those are you like put it in your it's like how you twist your hair up and um, in them for a towel like when you're getting ready and then I have one large one that's just a um, what is this one called I really like this one when my hair was really long it was great like aqua super absorbent towel I know I got this at Bed Bath & Beyond but this is as it says super absorbent and it's great because you know, you get your, you put your hair up in the towel, you do your lotion and all that, and by the time you're done, it's like, first of all, it's really lightweight for how big it is, and, you know, your hair is ready to go with the blow dryer. You don't want to dry your hair when it's, like, too wet. It's not good for it. And down here, I have, like, the standard stuff that you would normally have, like, extra toilet paper rolls. Here, I have, you know, when... There are times that are needed for these things. It's a nebulizer and stuff. So um, this is for whenever there are aches or pains or anything that involves heat. I've got a little handheld like massager. I've got the, um, you know, warm packs that you warm in the microwave. One I have these hot water bottle things. Uh, you can use cold too, but I use it for hot. Um, Okay, just a minute, I'll get it for you. What is that called? Heating pad in there. So, if anybody needs anything out, like the heating pad, like you saw, it was out the other day when my child wasn't feeling good. I always like to, you know, put a blanket on them and then put the heating pad on top just to keep them warm when they're sick. So, so you can see what I'm talking about. So, anyway, that's the entirety and if you saw the before, it was an absolute wreck. I mean, I had so many towels in here that I had to, you know, have them all like this. And there was, I think, yeah, three rows. One, two, and three of just the towels. Like, why? You know, I like having the space a little bit where you can see through the racks. And it's just, I don't know, it's just more pleasing to me. It feels like I know what I have. I know it needs to be replaced and it's easier to maintain it's just okay so I took mm, half, 40 minutes probably last night and then kind of tweaked it for maybe five minutes today and that's it and that in the long run is going to save money Time. It will save time as far as if somebody's looking for something. I mean, it's very self-explanatory. Now, I would like to get out my label maker and label everything, and I will because I love that. But I haven't done that yet, and I haven't done that yet because I want to live with it like this for a week while everybody's using it and see if it works. If it works, then I'll get to the point where I'll label it, and then it'll be like official we'll see i hope you liked this i have so much more to organize so if you're into this give me a thumbs up 
And so I'll be sure to hit record on my other projects that I have coming Leave up. Leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. So I will see you soon. Mm -hmm. Bye. Mm -hmm.